What's going on all you beautiful people out in the world? Today we have Pokemon the movie, Pokemon Power Set of 24 awesome little toys released by Burger King all the way back in 2000. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. So as I stated, there are 24 different toys in the set, so everything's just gonna be completely randomized, no particular order because there's no number on the packaging and I can't see what's inside the, the packages. So each one comes with a little checklist. So you open this up and inside it gives you the name of this particular toy. And this one is Scyther or Scyther. And you can leave me a comment down below how to pronounce that correctly. I'm probably gonna mess up a lot of these. Uh, but that's okay, so you open this up and inside it just gives you a rundown on some of the toys in the set. You flip it over and there are the rest of the figures and little toys in the set. Very cool stuff and it just shows you how these function. So each one, it's like a power card, it comes with a little base and all you do is you take this and place it in its base like that. And then it's nice for display. Then what you do is you can push this down like so, it's got a little bit of a spring action movement going on, or you can take it out and right there, that little tab, you push that in, and like I said, it's spring loaded, and it makes his wings flap around a little bit. I'm guessing those are wings, or no, maybe they're, they're like arms with swords or whatnot. And then here's a look at the back, and you can see the team from the Pokemon movie. Very cool stuff, and that's it, so there you go. It's Scyther, or Scyther. The next one up is Articuno, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, Articuno, and it turns out there's some electronic ones in here, unfortunately the batteries in these have expired, at least this one so far, I haven't gotten to the other ones yet, so we'll see later on in the video, so apparently it's like different types of toys in this set, so basically this shows you right there, you take it, place it out, and it can't, had a little battery tab that you pulled out, so I pulled the battery tab out, and it's supposed to screech, so it probably has some little little sound bite in there where he screeched or something and right there the little battery tab sat in there and you can see the battery inside there is corroded but either way it's still got some movability so you can push the little tab right here and little wings start flopping up and down so that's still kind of cool and you can see the little speaker that would have made the sound right there and on the back same as the other one some uh, pokemon characters right there and that's it and what other thing i noticed is that these these little bases they pop apart so you can probably interchange them and swap them around, give them a different unique look for your collection. And that's it, so there you go. It's, let me get this in the right, it's Articuno. The next one up is Pikachu, and this one was another electronic power card. And you open this up and look inside and he would say Pikachu, like he would screech the name Pikachu or whatever. But unfortunately the battery has expired and you push the little tab right here and nothing else happens. And there's really no way, I kind of mess with these, and there's really no way to get these out without potentially breaking these to replace those batteries. So I didn't want to mess with There's no little screws or anything I could take out and pop this apart. Or I would be doing that. So, but that's okay because they're still kind of cool. It's got the 3D look to it and whatnot. And they look great on display. So you just place the Pikachu card right in the base. And there you go, Pikachu. Next we have Moltres, which looks awesome. I love the red and the yellow. This one's really cool. And it's another electronic one. And you would push this one down and it would squawk. <laughs> I guess it would squawk. So let me show you the card here. So there's a the little speaker holes and then it had the little battery tab up there. And then you do this and it would activate the sound. And the wings are just kind of fixed and molded into place. Nothing else moves but the centerpiece. Unfortunately, this one, I was hoping maybe one or two that would be in this set would actually work. There's a look at the back. You can see a scene from the movie, which is very cool. And of course, here is the base, which looks really nice. Red being my favorite color. So of course, I'm going to find that to be nice. And that's it. So there you go. Place it in there. And there you have Moltres. The next one up is Bulbasaur, so I kind of knew that one. And there is another version of these power cards, so let me show you right here. This one, it actually lights up. So we have the one that's moving bits, and then we have one that's supposed to make sounds. And then this one's supposed to light up, so let me show you this here, and let's see if we can get it to work. So on the back, there is the battery tab right there, and you can see a look at the back of the sticker right there. So we pull this out. There we go. And let's see, does it light up? Does the battery still function? And nope, nope, I'm double checking it. I wish there was a way to change the batteries in these. I, I guess if I mess with this enough, maybe you could pop these out. I'm just fearful that I would break or damage them, so I don't want to mess with them. But I would love for these to work and see how they look all lit up and make all the sounds and everything. But unfortunately, 
I don't want to risk it because I like to keep it in good condition. And this is the little stand that it comes with. So it's basically just some grass. And there you go. It's Bulbasaur. Next we have Marowak, and I believe I'm pronouncing that right, Marowak. This one doesn't have any electronic gimmicks. It has just the simple push button moving bit. So you got this little arm that wiggles up and down and he shakes his bone around. I'm not even sure what to make of it. It's got like a fox, possum, dinosaur. I'm not, <laughs> like this is a combination of, I'm not even sure what. Maybe let me know down in the comments what this actually is. Like I would say like maybe a fox or a possum or something. It looks really cool though, but I'm not really sure what to make of it. But he's got the little moving bit right there. And there is his base and there you go. The next one up is kind of cute and silly. It's called Execute. Execute. <laughs> Read that. E X E G G C U T E. Execute. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So you just push the button here. This is just another moving one. You can kind of see it wiggling. All the little little eggs there just kind of move around. Kind of silly. Here's a look at the back. So you can see there's a little nest of these things right there. And here is the little base, which is just like grass. I believe that's probably just grass and that's it place it back in here for display and there you go execute next we have gold duck and this is another cool variation of these power cards this one's actually a water squirter and it shows you how it works right here so you basically just dump it in some water and hold it there for a second and you squirt water with it i don't know if i'd actually do that because there's stickers and stuff on here you probably ruin it i don't know i'm a collector more than i am anything but there's the back, but I tell you, there's the button. So you would squeeze it right there. So you would hold it under the water and then you can look right there, there's a little hole. It doesn't obviously hold a lot of water. That's kind of an interesting gimmick for these. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest, but it, it's still kind of neat. So you got like four versions of these things, the electronic moving, the talking light up, and then the water squirter ones. This is kind of cool and they look really fantastic and awesome and here's a little water base looks like little waves of course you can spin it this way or this way however you want to display it and then set it back in here just like well just like that and there you go gold duck next we have snorlax <laughs> this is the greatest name ever snorlax and this is another version another different type of toy in this set this is actually a glow in the dark Toy. I don't know how many there are, but I'm guessing there's probably only two or three, maybe four. It shows you in the instructions that there's two. So you got Snorlax and then Porygon, which we'll eventually get to. So this is Snorlax, and I tried checking it to see if it would actually glow. It's very, very faint. My camera won't pick it up because I think just due to the age of the toy, that the glow-in-the-dark gimmick has kind of probably faded. But it looks really cool. There's a side view, foot view head view <laughs> give you a little spinneroo there's a look at the back again and here is his little base which is kind of neat looking and there you go so it's a glow in the dark snorlax <laughs> which i think is kind of cool because of that name there we go got it next we have another water squirter this one is if you read it right there kingler the crab and you see the little hole right there for the squirting gimmick and there's a little button down below we'll flip it around take a look at the back there you go and here is the little water type base and i noticed a lot of these bases there is really a particular way that these need to go in because if because one side's like offset compared to the other side so if you place it in like this it might lean forward but then if you flip it around it'll lean back and that's kind of what you want for display so keep that in mind if you get this set so it's basically got to go like this and each i think each base is generally like that so there's a certain way that the base needs to go with the card but anyway this one's really cool looking and i really dig it because you know it's a cool looking bony looking crab <laughs> so there you go it's kingler up next is elekid if you look right there l-e-l-e-k-i-d elekid and this is again another little electronic one so we'll pull the tab out maybe we'll get lucky see if we can get this pulled out okay let's see what happens it's supposed to light up and this is i suspected it doesn't light up but that's okay i just wish there was a way you can see right there there's the battery tab i wish there was a way to get these popped open without risking breaking them like if there was like little screws in there or something you can pull these apart and change those batteries that'd be so fun maybe i, I will try and mess with it 
I might have a few random ones of these laying around because I don't want to mess with my set. I want to keep it nice and minty. And anyway, so this guy obviously did some electronic stuff. <laughs> I'm not that familiar with Pokemon, but I get from the the name Elec Elekid, <laughs> Electric or whatnot. So you can see the, the yellow here is kind of translucent. So this one's kind of neat and cool looking. We place them right in the base and there you go. The next one up is Venonat, or Venonat, however you want to pronounce that. I'm sure that one of the two is correct. Venonat or Venonat. This one's unique. It looks kind of like a, a berry or a fruit of some kind. <laughs> a little bug fruit. Here's a look at the back for your eyeballs. And this one's just a little jumpy movie one. It just moves by pushing that little tab. It just kind of jumps and shimmies around in there. And that's the gimmick with that. And here is the little base it came with. Like I said, all the bases are interchangeable to some degree, I'm sure. And there you go. It's Venonat or Venonat. Next, we have Lapras, the water squirter. This one's kind of cool. It's got this, like, dragon-type vibe. I don't know. Maybe a snail? It's got a little saddle right there. I'm not sure. What's on the back here? Same picture as some of the other ones. I don't know what to make of that. What is this one exactly? Is it like a serpent, like a dragon serpent of some kind? Maybe a snail? I want to go with dragon of some sort, like a, a water serpent. And just like I said, with the other water squirters, you just hold it under the water, fill it up, and then probably gives you two or three good squirts. There's a little hole right there. Very cool stuff. Another water squirter. And I'm pretty sure I got the name right on this one. Lapras. And this is another electronic light-up one, and you can see the name right there, Lugia. And on the back, we have the little battery tab. So we're going to pull this out. Maybe this one will work. be cool to get one or two that actually worked in this set. Look at that. There we go. And let's see if it actually lights up. And unfortunately, nope, this one doesn't light up. Either. Well, the batteries are 24, 25 years old, so... I can't expect them to work, but it would have been kind of a nice little surprise to get one or two to actually work, especially one of the, the ones with the sound bits in them. That would have been fantastic. So when you push the tab, the head kind of moves up and down. Let's see, does it move anywhere else? Nope, that's what it does. And one other thing that I noticed, and each one, I checked them all, each base has the name of the actual power card that's supposed to go to it. So you can see this is Lugia. So they do have, in fact, their own actual base. Just a little side note there for you. And... There it is. We place this in here, and there we go. Lucia. Next, we have Zapdos, and you can read it right there. Zapdos or Zapdos. I want us to say it's Zapdos, and you can see the little battery tab there. So this one's another one with a little speaker, and it's very heavy. These ones with the speakers are super heavy. So we pull this out, and maybe we'll get lucky. You ready? Let's give it a try. Oh, man. Oh, I'm really hoping just one or two would actually work. There's a look at the back. But unfortunately, like I said, due to the age of the toys, you know, the odds are against you that any of these little batteries, they're just like little watch, tiny little watch batteries. If there was a way to get these open, that would be really cool if they were easy to replace. But that's okay. Look at this thing. This one's kind of neat. It's got all the spiky wings and the tail going on, the clawed feet. Wow, this one's probably one of the coolest ones thus far this is neat and then here is the little base like i was saying before each one is specifically named for this particular card and there you go zapdos next we have jigglypuff look at that it's jigglypuff <laughs> i recognize this one this is one of the handful that i actually kind of know who it is and look at the back there this comes with characters from the movie and another battery tab so this is another light up one and i'm really hoping we can get this pulled out there that one of these just one i'd be happy with just one if it lights up i would be so surprised and you can see it doesn't light up ah we'll give it a little tap maybe we'll find a little juice left in that battery nah, nope it doesn't work but that's okay it still looks great it's cute jigglypuff one of the coolest names ever and there you go and here's another one i'm very familiar with this is charmander Look at this one. Got the light up tail and whatnot. Here's a look at the back. And you can see I left the battery tab in. So we'll pull that out. Maybe we'll get lucky. I keep hoping. Every time we get another electronic one, I'm kind of hoping. So let's see what happens. And, ah, oh, 
Man, it bums me out. That's okay, though. These look really cool. These are such a nice little collectible, and they look great. I like the size of them. They're like about the size of a standard baseball card or football card, if you're familiar with trading cards. And they're just really thick and heavy because it's all just solid plastic in here. And, well, maybe a little hollow bits in there. But, unfortunately, poor Charmander doesn't light up. But that's okay. And here's this awesome little red base. Like I said, there's the name of Charmander is on this base. And there we go. Push, put them in there. And there you have it. And this one is Merrill. Let me see. Right there. Merrill. I'm, I'm guessing I'm pronouncing that right. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing most of these right. Here's a look at the back. And again, this one's just a moving one. Very simple stuff. So you push the tab. And the little ears wiggle back and forth. It's a very simple gimmick. Nothing too crazy. Makes it a little cute and cuddly little thing kind of wiggle around. <laughs> I like it. And we just put him in his base, just like this right here. Come on, get in there. <laughs> get in there, I'm struggling. And look at that, there we go, we got it. So there you go, it's Meryl. It's Meowth, look at this, Meowth. <laughs> I know this one's familiar too. And there's a look at the back, very cool stuff. And we push the button underneath and watch the eyeballs. <laughs> it's kind of silly and creepy. Oh, it's so goofy. I love it though. Oh, look at the side there. And then we'll look at the top and we'll give you a little spinneroo 360. <laughs> Take it all in. And there you go, everyone. It's Meow. And this one is Togepi. I think I got that one right. Togepi or Togepi. We're going to say Togepi because <laughs> why not? All right, let's see. Uh oh, that one just kind of broke off. Let's see. We'll get some tweezers. Let's see if we can do some operating on this on the fly. And get that battery tab out of there. Oh no, it's like falling apart in there. Uh oh. <laughs> well, it probably didn't work anyway. This set is so old, you can see it's yellowed, the paper on there is crumbling. So the odds of that actually working, you know. And I can't I can't try because the paper's stuck in there. I'm gonna have to mess with that and get that out of there. But unfortunately, Oh, they don't work anyway. It's just the batteries are too old. But this one's cute and cuddly looking. It's like a little little monster, like a star monster in there and like an egg suit. <laughs> kind of like maybe a little egg diaper of sorts. Little cute little feet and toes sticking out there. <laughs> this one's making me giggle. I don't know why. Here's a look at the back so you can see what's going on there. And that's it. It's a cute little name of... Togepi. The next one is Porygon or Porygon. This is another glow in the dark one. So this is like the second one in the set. So we know we have two. There's only a few more left in the set. But again, I tried looking at this one under <laughs> under the dark. I held it under the light for a good minute or two. And unfortunately, it doesn't really glow all that well. But this one looks really awesome. Look at this thing. It's kind of neat. I like the way it looks in the background here. And this, like, this square, like, sharp edge, like, I don't even know what to make of this thing, but it looks, it looks amazing. And that's it. So we'll put him in his base. And there we go. Hey, look at this. It's Squirtle. And obviously, they're going to make him a water squirter. So you can see there's the name Squirtle right there. Another cool Pokemon name. Here's a look at the back. It looks like they're looking into a big hole or something there. This one's cute and cuddly, too. And again, just like before, you would hold this underwater, fill it up a little bit, and probably get two or three good squirts out of it, because there's a little hole right there. Look at this thing. It's so cute and adorable to look at. <laughs> the Squirtle. Oh, that's a good one. So, there you go. The next one up is Mr. Mime, and this is like another moving one. And here's a look at the back, so you can take that in and push the button. Look at that. His little hands wiggle back and forth. Look at that. <laughs> why is that one making me giggle? I don't know why that one's kind of silly. I don't know. Let's just sit here for a second and watch him wiggle his hands. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. There you go. We'll place him in his base just like that. Look at that. Get in there. And, ah, we got it. So there you go. Mr. Mime. And finally, the 24th toy in the set turns out to be Pidgeot. Or Pidgeot. Pidgeot? Pidgeot? There's another one somebody's got to correct me in the comments section for us. So unfortunately, I think there's only two or three I may have messed up. So here's a look at the back. And again, this one's just got some moving bits. So we push the button and his wings kind of flap. Look at it. Just kind of flap out back and forth. Do it from this side. 
There you go. And then we'll do it from the top. <laughs> His wings are just flopping around a little bit. This one's cute. I like this one. Pidgeot or Pidgeot. <laughs> I hope I got that right. All right. Awesome. And there you have it, everyone. Pokemon the Movie 2000. Pokemon Power set of 24 awesome little toys released all the way back in the year 2000 by Burger King. Now, I'll tell you what, this is quite the set. This is a nice addition to any Pokemon collection. Sadly for me, I couldn't get any of the electronic ones to work, but I think if you got some skills, you could probably pop those apart and replace the batteries to get them to work. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to mess with them a little bit. I'm curious to see if I can do that. But anyway, if you're a Pokemon collector and you like collecting these type of sets, well, here you go. This one's amazing. It's so big, I can't even fit it in my whole screen thing here. It's just so big. Like, there's a bunch off to the side here, too. 24 of them. It's a complete win for every Pokemon collector out there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you next time.